Hi everyone, this is Tigner Adventures, and my name is David, and this is my wife Ninette. And this is our new member of our family, Tansy. She's hunting birds right now. Tansy! There you are. Hi, beautiful. And we live in our Class A motorhome full time. We didn't plan on doing this, we just kind of fell into this. When I was 59 and a half, I decided that I wanted to retire. And so we sold our house and moved into an apartment. We were going to just live in apartments and just travel around living in apartments. We happened to find out about this lifestyle and we decided to look into it. So we kind of just fell into it. We love it and we just travel around now having fun. I'm supposed to talk about our family um, when we're sitting around the campfire and we swap stories with people. This is the things we always say because it's our family and it's our life. And the last 40 years I've been with this wonderful man. <laughs> it's amazing, 40 years she stuck with me. Yes, we've had some ups and downs. Yep. We also have four wonderful children and we're very proud of each one of them. They have turned out to be very creative and and they show their talents and we're very proud of them. First we have uh, my oldest daughter, Janelle. She is married to Tommy. They met in the Marines and they've been married about 17 years now and they live in Georgia. So Janelle has her own company making puzzles and she cuts them out on a glow forge and she creates uh, the patterns and it's really fun to put them together they're very interesting they're small but they're hard to put together so and her husband you can talk about him he's got kind of the perfect job and uh, with his marines background and um, and this he'll be able to retire when he's about 49 so hopefully they'll join us out on the road about then which isn't much longer away Tommy <laughs> So our, our second child is a son, and if you only have to have one son, he's a, the best son. So he has just published his first book, and he's very excited about his writing career, and I'm reading it, and it's pretty interesting, and it's fun to see where he pulls a lot of his, um, the experiences he puts in his books, and it's, it's really fun to read it. He was our uh, first child to graduate from college, so all of our children have now graduated from college and a couple of them are going to be getting a couple more degrees here real soon, but um, J um, Dustin got his degree and something, <laughs> we keep thinking about what degrees did our kids get because his degree was in web, web design and uh, web design and programming, so he does a lot of uh, web programming and design uh, mainly now for one person and he's kind of backed off of that a little bit and now he's just diving full time into writing that's his real passion uh, but he's very creative so he does a little different when he's writing his books he's designing the covers he's he's also um, designing the website for it and everything so he kind of does everything uh, you know he's single and he has the time to do that so he has a lot of fun doing it and that's what his passion is he also wants to narrate his books. Yeah, now he's working on narrating also. So this will be interesting to watch his journey unfold. So Our third child is Jeanette. And she is just a lot like her dad. Very driven. And she, um, she had a couple of internships with NASA. So she's been back to school and earning more degrees. And... She's actually wrote in a couple books herself. <laughs> kinda kinda edged our son on. <laughs> yeah. So they're trying so, to keep up with each other. So she first started off in art. She's a very very good artist. Uh, she took some uh, uh, got her one degree in art and another one in something else, artsy, but dealing with it in the uh, uh, electronic world instead. Um, graphic design. Graphic was the design. Other. Oh, okay. <laughs> and worked. So, but she, and she worked as a graphic designer, but then she, um, and she'd paint her paintings and things, but she never wanted to give those away or sell them and things. So she, 
uh, decided that she wanted to be a coroner, which is way weird, I thought. But then I also have a friend that's a nurse, and he says, oh, no, coroners make the best, uh, or artists make the best coroners uh, because they can illustrate things very well. And so I thought, oh, that's kind of cool. But then as she kind of dug through there, then she found out that she really liked um, the chemistry type stuff and so she's actually going to be graduating here in the next uh, few months as a material science engineer so that's pretty exciting so um, each one of them following their own uh, careers she's married to uh, a guy um, that uh, is a programmer so he programs uh, for um, typically educational type uh, software and things like that but he does all the programming stuff so he's uh, pretty fun to be around and learn about. Uh, his big main passion though is uh, playing the drums or doing musical type things. So he's played in a couple different and bands. Expensive and expensive cars. Oh, and expensive cars because he's the only one in the family at this point that has a Tesla. So we'll see where that goes. <laughs> so and our uh, baby of the family is Janae and she her birthday is this week. She's turning 23 and she's getting her bachelor's in health and wellness or something like that yeah you know, each one of the children <laughs> they tell us what they got their degree in or what they're getting it in and I guess it's our old age sitting in because it's hard to remember them all but we're really yeah. proud that, that they're actually getting a degree because yeah. no one in our family has had a, um, a degree before and I didn't get mine either so it's really exciting that uh, to us that's our major accomplishment so but uh, she's still in school for a few more times and she's working for a, a paint uh, place now. She used to work for Sherman Williams and she's going to be uh, working up in Salt Lake City. So she's pretty project excited. Project manager. Yeah, project manager up there. So she's pretty excited. So not necessarily in her degree, but I guess, you know, yeah. who, who really works in their degree half the time. Yeah. So she, whatever she her wants, passions are, she, she wants will go to that, so. find something up in Salt Lake. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we spent oh, five, six, seven years watching her play volleyball and really enjoy just the progress she's made and just the beautiful ballet of volleyball. Yep. I mean, she spikes and I mean, she's short, but she can jump and spike yeah. as hard as anybody else. And that's exciting to watch. So between us two, Nynette's the athletic one. She does all the different little things and plays all the different sports. And our last ball, daughter, like yeah, our last <laughs> daughter Janae, has taken after her quite, quite a bit, and they both love to play volleyball. Um, and Ninette loves other things too, other sports and things too. But uh, Janae's passion is mainly volleyball at this point. So, so you know, I mean, if you have a son that is a very good volleyball player because she's kind of a little <laughs> bit of a snob, uh, then you know we could probably set you up on a date. She'd love that. Yeah, she would. <laughs> So, and my husband here has been um, volunteering and working in canyoneering through the U of U for the last 10, 12 years. I let him tell you about that. Well, I retired finally. <laughs> so, it's sad. But it's sad, we but, uh, but we're trying to get into this lifestyle full time. It was really a lot of fun. I did that for about 12 years, just uh, teaching young men, young women. Um, how to be safe out in the canyons. That's where canyoneering is a sport. You hike up to the, the top of somewhere and you drop down into slot canyons that are carved out from, you know, flash floods typically. Oh. And, and then um, we drop into those, we rappel down, we down climb, whatever. We teach them how to do that safely. And so that's been a lot of fun. Um, but now we're moving on to other things. Uh, I still have that avenue to go back and help whenever I can. And, and I'm um, in that area. But uh, we really like to, with this channel now, we really want to start our lives in just traveling around uh, the United States. Some of our adventures have been in other places, uh, but as we, <laughs> as we started, um, you know, we, over the years, we've actually tried to explore different places. And as we looked around, uh, we found out that, uh, you know, we hardly know anything about the United States. So, we want to take this time now to start just traveling around and uh, spending our money on adventures. Okay, I got a good story for you. So my husband's approaching 50 and he doesn't want to grow old and sit on a couch. So for Mother's Day, he gives me the canyoneering equipment. Like, you know, my hard hat and my shoes and my 
in my bell and and I look at him like oh I'm almost 50 and you want me to climb a mountain are you crazy <laughs> well he brings home this movie and says look at this this canyoneering stuff look at this guy cut off his arm and we're gonna go do that <laughs> it's like oh okay anyway so we started by climbing and then moved into canyoneering which was a little bit more strenuous uh, strenuous <laughs> adventurous <laughs> tough, anyway, tough to keep up with the 20 year olds yes but it was um, a lot of fond memories some good some bad <laughs> so I thought to pay him back he does not like to swim so well so I can't for, swim for Father's Day I got him snorkel gear because I love the ocean and I love snorkeling and so we started with snorkeling and had some fun with that and everything and he's one to just go on and on so he goes let's do scuba diving and I go oh no 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 I I know where the air is I know where the the fish are and I'm I'm good you know and don't want to swim with anything larger than yeah me. I didn't want to <laughs> no I did not want to swim anything larger yeah. and um, but as it is we're we've got over a hundred dives now and we have swam with great um, what was that great big tiger sharks and tiger sharks. lots of different sharks and big yep. turtles and anyway so we start small and we just get better and better and and we're looking forward to another scuba trip here and it would have been nice Soon. this spring but probably next spring so we've had a lot of adventures and we're going to share some of those adventures with you um, on our channel uh, we want to share as many adventures as we can maybe we'll be able to inspire you to get out of the box that you're in get off your um, couch <laughs> off your couch and get out and start enjoying our country well if you've enjoyed this video please subscribe to our channel and if you liked it please push the button if you didn't put a thumbs down but anyway whatever just let us know and we'll just uh, work our we'll try to way get better, to get better. yeah <laughs>